Hi, this is Courtney Long, angel communicator, fairy expert, and life purpose intuitive. Welcome to Angel and Fairy Insights. Today we are talking about faith in your direction. The angels want to talk about having faith in your direction. In other words, really trusting your path or trusting the path of your divine life purpose. Trusting that you know what you're meant to do, you know the next step to take, and having the faith and courage to take the next step or to take a leap of faith, really stepping more powerfully than ever into your purpose and your passion and your life's calling, your soul's calling. So I'm gonna draw a couple cards to support this message of how can we really have faith in our direction, as the angels are saying it, how can we really have faith in our life purpose? And we'll be working with the Power of Love Activation Cards by James Von Prague. So powerful these cards are. And as I'm shuffling the cards, I'm calling on the divine, calling on God, source, spirit, universe, and the angels and fairies asking for a message. It's going to really help us to understand. Oh, okay. Well, this makes sense. First card that comes up is integrity. Integrity. And the card says you demonstrate the truth and honesty of your soul and manifest love with your every action. You demonstrate the truth and honesty of your soul and manifest love with your every action. And the angels are, and fairies especially are coming in and they're just showing me this image of almost like all this glitter just being thrown up, like kind of reminds me of like an explosion of love and joy and, and good, good vibes. And what they are saying is you know what to do. You know the next step for your divine life purpose. It's about cultivating the strength within you to take that step, the courage within you, also cultivating your relationship with the divine, your relationship with your own divinity within, with God, source, creator, spirit, universe, with that energy of love, because the stronger your relationship is with the divine, the easier it is to trust and to take action toward your purpose. And this card in this message is really about aligning everything up in your life with integrity. So making sure that your daily actions are aligned with your soul, that you're not putting your time, effort, and energy into a job that is not resonating with your soul or that you're not putting your time and effort into a relationship that is not lifting up your soul or that is not helping you in the big realm of your purpose because every relationship we have is ultimately a part of our life purpose and relationships can lift us up, they can kind of just be neutral or some relationships can drag us down and can feel heavy. So it's also time to take stock of your, your relationships and which ones are really really in alignment with your soul, which relationships are lifting you up, which ones are, are okay, you, and which ones are dragging you down, and see with the ones that are dragging you down. See if they can be shifted so that they're uplifting you, if something can shift within you or within the relationship, maybe communicating something with that person or sharing your honest feelings, um, opening your heart, communicating, expressing. And if there's something that can't be shifted, it's okay to let go of those heavy relationships and to really, really just honor that the purpose of that relationship is served, it's complete, and it's time for you to shift into lightness and shift into really fulfilling your purpose with a big old open heart, a big, amazing open heart. And the more that you take action to get everything in your life aligned with your soul and with integrity, standing in your integrity, being your authentic self. The more that you do that, the more confident you feel, the healthier you are, the happier you are, and the angels are showing you this big rainbow of happiness all around you. So it's about acting in integrity, being in integrity, and just like this card says, manifesting love with your every action. So uh, you know, at the core, our life purpose is love. It's so simple. You know, our purpose is to be love, to be a beacon of love, to express love, to receive love, to just emanate love. And then we also have a specific purpose. Each of us has a specific way or ways that we're meant to express love in the world through our gifts and our passions and our talents. So, so make sure you're being honest with yourself about what you're being called to do next with your life purpose. 
Beautiful. Okay. And then I love it. The fairies. This is how they showed me it was time to move to the second card. They showed a magic wand, like tapping the second card. Okay. So, oh my gosh, look at this. Now I understand why. Second card is individuality. Speaking of your own unique life purpose, um, it says you leave your unique stamp of love on everything you do. You leave your unique stamp of love on everything you do. You are divine and you are an expression of the divine and you matter. Your expressions of love matter. Your hugs matter. Your kisses matter. Your words of kindness matter. Your smiles, your, your work in this world or you know the ways that you care for people you love. Everything you do matters and leaves an imprint in this world and, and sends out vibrations of love. And so if you are wanting to do something even about the the difficulties in the world, the hatred in the world, the violence in the world, the crimes, the the chaos really, the most powerful thing you can do is to emanate love and just to know that every ounce of love you emanate really, really has an impact in this world. And of course, if you're being guided to do something specific with your love, then please do so. Um, you know, be an advocate, do, do whatever you're being guided to do. Each of us has a movement, um, like a, a revolution that we're being guided to, to lead and to create. So, so tap into what that is for you. But it really involves expressing your individuality and sharing your gifts and your joy and having fun as you share your gifts, having fun as you help others and help to heal the planet. So express your individuality. It's just, it's absolutely incredible how similar these cards are. Integrity and individuality, being your authentic self. And the angels, are, they're, they're so playful as always. They're showing me an image of a uh, a magic hat, like a magician's hat, that a magician would often reach into and pull out a big white rabbit. But so they're they're showing you reaching into your magician's hat, like reaching into your inner magic, your inner magician, and pulling out some treasures. They're not showing me specifically what it is because it's individual for each of us. So just imagine you're pull you're reaching into a magic hat, you're pulling out one of your gifts, one of your treasures that you're meant to share in this world to, to have fun and to help others and help to heal the planet. So it's like, what are these treasures inside of you that want to be expressed? It's so beautiful. And they're your most precious spiritual gifts. And some of them might surprise you. Some of them might be so in your face, you might know it so clearly that you're like, well, duh, like the right now, the angels are showing me for one of my most precious spiritual gifts. It's my writing, which I already know. But I certainly needed a reminder. So <laughs> I'd love to hear from you what is this most precious spiritual gift or a gift that might be, you know, hidden or surprising to you. What is your most precious spiritual gift that you're being called to share right now and to, to express uh, and, and express with your authenticity and your uniqueness? Okay, perfect, beautiful. And this just circles back to the overall message for this, this angel and fairy insights of really following your purpose and, and having faith in your direction, have faith that you are on the right path and don't, they're, they're just saying, don't make any excuses anymore. If you make excuses for yourself, well, I don't have time to do this or I've got to pay my bills, so I've got to stay in a job I don't like. It's like whatever excuses you might have, and, and they're often valid excuses, just let me say, but the angels are just saying like, let go of any illusions and don't don't um, be dishonest with yourself. It's like, it's time to get in alignment and be in integrity and call on your inner strength to take that next step with your life purpose, letting go of fears, letting go of illusions, letting go of the distractions, the excuses, anything that's been holding you back and really moving forward powerfully. Wow, so beautiful. Thank you to the angels and to the fairies. They're reminding you how much they love you and they're surrounding you with like little swirls of light and lots of joy to uplift your energy. So remember to call on your angels and fairies for help. And I'd like to share with you a free gift on my website. If you go to CourtneyLongAngels.com, you can click on free gift and download a free gift, short guided meditation that will help you and will just really uplift your energy. So I hope you enjoy that. Please also subscribe to my channel so you stay up to date with all the angel and fairy insights. And I'm just sending you lots and lots of love. I hope you have a fabulous, fabulous, magical day 
following the path of your divine life purpose. I'll talk to you soon.